pretty nice. I am going across the rows. Um, a lot of people are saying that must be bumping you and throwing you around. Not really. I'm going about five miles an hour. It's really not. It's really not throwing me around too much. Uh, we really like to. I took the roller hero over this, and we, uh, well, that's what we usually do. We usually plow a uh, disc and then run it over with a roller harrow, and it flattens it out really, really good. So I know when you take the planer through it, it kind of hills it up a little bit, and that makes it in the rows there, but. Uh, it's not too bad. It's not bumping me around and throwing me around like crazy. Uh, we try to level off that seed bed, make a nice good level seed bed as best we can. And you can see in the corn, um, I really like it when you see a field of corn and it looks like you can set a level on top. So that's always a cool thing. Bump me right here because we didn't do anything in this part when we were planting. This part was extremely wet. So this corner, we didn't put anything in, we just went around it. Of course, now it's not too wet, but it's just a little bumpy. But anyway, I'm going to be back and forth in this, and I wanted to do something a little different with this video. So I'm on my GoPro Hero 7 Black now, and uh, usually I have two of them. I have two GoPro Hero 7 Blacks. I run two drones. I have a DJI Mavic Mini, and then I went and upgraded to the DJI Mavic Mini 2, which uh, had the better camera on it, and that's what you usually see me. Plus, I like the controller better. Um, I had misplaced one of my uh, Hero 7 Blacks, and I was thinking about upgrading anyway because the one's kind of not eh, acting up where it's not shooting good footage, but it's just little stuff here and there. It's old, and you can tell it just it irks me now and then. So um, I misplaced the one. I'm sure it's going to turn up now, any day now, but what I ended up doing is, and I'll stop the tracker here a second, ended up getting a another GoPro. So, so what I have is a GoPro uh, Hero 9. I was going back and forth between the 9 and the, and the brand new 10, and I'm like, ah, oh, well, you know, anything, I, any one of them I get is going to be better than the 7, so do I need the 10? And I went with the 9 because it was 100 bucks cheaper, so... Uh, we'll see how I like the 9. Maybe I'll end up getting the 10 also. But uh, yeah, it's a little bigger than the 7. It comes with uh, bigger batteries, so hopefully I have more recording time. Um, I've never really had an issue with my recording time because, um, I, like I said, I had two Hero 7 Blacks and I would have four batteries. So when I leave for the day with four fully charged batteries, two GoPros, so it means each one has a backup. I usually, uh, I usually never had a problem by the end of the day uh, swapping out the battery and and uh, and not, you know, end of the day it's not like oh my god I have no battery and I still want to record. And if if I ever did run into that, there sometimes I did. I used a handy dandy cell phone because there's a bunch of cameras. On, there's a camera on that. <coughs> so anyway, this video, like I said, I'm gonna put the cameras up. I'll throw the drone in the air. Um, see, it's going to be a lot like last week, except we don't have snow now. It's a little, it's a little warmer out. The stalks have dried up, so they're breaking up a little better than the last field, which is good. This is the last one I got to hit. I'll smooth it out, knock up the stalks. My brother can come through and put manure on it. <coughs> Excuse me. I need a drink. I'm talking too much. Once he gets manure on it all throughout the winter and all throughout the, the springtime, I'll come through with a chisel plow chisel plow and incorporate that manure in and that'll work out good so <clears throat> anyway I wanted to say this at the beginning of this video because uh, I know some people don't watch in the end and uh, here's what I wanted to do I wanted to so I tried this a couple years ago and it was pretty cool and I never done it again and I should have done it but uh, I pride myself on uh, maybe not right away but I always try to reply to comments if you leave a nice comment or a good comment or you're asking a question I mean if you're flat out rude I'm just gonna ignore it or delete it whatever but um, if you leave a decent comment I like to reply to it I like the interaction with everybody and that's a good thing with my channel I like I said I like the interaction um, so what I did a couple years ago is um, drop a comment below of this video it'll be like a Q&A Drop a comment. Uh, you don't have to ask a question if you don't want. You can just drop a comment about this video. But you could drop a question, and in the next video, it'll probably be a week later, I'll let a week, week's worth, and then I'll go through and reply to those comments. I'll say your name and reply to the comments. 
and it'll be, it's a nice way, <coughs> excuse me, I need some water. It's a nice interaction way, and it's nice for me to explain the comment a little more. Sometimes I don't, sometimes it's just a simple yes or no, or this and that, but it's a nice way to explain a little bit more in depth, and when, you know, like, um, someone asked me before, uh, what do we use to, you know, we put the high moisture corn in the side of the whole kernel, you know, what do we use when it comes out? And I explain we use a hammer mill. Well, not only will I say we use a hammer mill, I'll show you the hammer mill. I'll show you how, you know, what the, what it looks like when it comes out. So, um, just something cool I figure we'll try and, uh, let's, let's have some fun with it. Ask some, like, ask some nice questions. So, uh, like I said, keep it, keep it polite. Uh, otherwise, I'm just not going to read it. I know a lot of people are going to ask, will you show the milking process? Why don't you show the milking process? So I'll just answer that right now. Uh, why don't I show the milking process? Because I don't ever do it. Uh, it's very rare that I milk. I'm more of an equipment guy. Always been that way. Uh, my dad usually milks or my brother milks. My brother doesn't want to be... Not that he's being rude or anything. He just... When he's, when he's working, he wants to work. He doesn't want a camera up in his face. You guys have seen him sometimes if we're unloading hay together in a hay now or if I'm flying the drone and he's unloading some uh, corn silage or haylage. But for the most part, he doesn't really want to be a part of it. And I got to respect that. Um, to me, the milking process is kind of boring. You know, it is what it is. But, um, you know, to make a milking video, I'd have to do from, from the time my dad turns the pump on up until the end when he's like done, you know, because to me, it's like we run four machines by the time he, you know, dips the cows, wash it, you know, he'll pre-dip them, wipe them down, strip the milk out, strip a little milk out, put the machine on, get the next four ready. Um, when the cows are done, he'll switch them over and then, you know, dip them, post-dip them. And that's pretty much the process. And then, okay, multiply that by 20 more times, 20 more switches. So to make a video, I'd have to be down there the whole night, really. And I really don't want to be down there the whole night. So I could go around and show you guys some of my favorite cows. But, you know, I know guys want to see more cows. And I mix it up sometimes with some feeding videos. You'll probably see that throughout the off season. But my passion's always been more out here in the field. I love the field work. I love the crops. I love the equipment. I've always been a little... Uh, little kid when like with uh, Taka toys or Earl toys. I love trucks. I love equipment. I love tractors and that's kind of been my thing. So as you can see, that's why my channel is more focused like that. So anyway, I'm going to throw the drone up in the air. going to mount this camera and I'm going to fire up this GoPro Hero 9 for the first time and get some footage. You guys can tell me what you think about it and uh, think of some questions, throw some questions underneath and even if you don't want to ask a question, you want to just leave a comment, do that too. And I will respond to it in the next video. So have some fun with it.
park it and uh, hook back up to the green cart so uh, we can try to make an attempt to get that last field done. So um, good to get these broken up. Now my uh, brother can come through and get some manure on it and get it coated with manure. And then in the springtime, I'll come through with a chisel plow and uh, get them all worked back up. Turn my flashes on here so I can head down the road. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Drop me your question or comment below so I can get back to you in the next video. I'll respond to you below, but I'll also, uh, like I said, respond in the next video. So, um, should be interesting, should be fun, and we'll see how it goes. Anyway, I will talk to you guys next time. Have a good one, everybody.